Hey, are we live? Thank you very much for inviting me to chat with you. And thank you so much for, for, for having me on. Here we go. Okay. In that learning and in with what we, uh, we uh, came up with, uh, for the next stage of Toolkit, which is our software platform uh, on premise, we decided to go uh, and work with you on a hybrid system. Now, again, hybrid system means it's it's got elements in the cloud, it's got elements on premise, and the whole concept is that you know whenever a network outage goes down, so someone runs a mall and you know the mall just randomly decides to cut uh, the, the the connection out to the outside world you can still run operations, right? And that's what uh, our secret source is. We definitely uh, have put a focus on making sure that no matter what, your little universe is still there, it's still doing its job, and you can still train. Elements do obviously suffer because of network con uh, connectivity, like for example, balances don't roam to another store. That makes sense. I mean, it's not got a connection. But yeah. in this universe where we work together, and we came up with a really, really awesome uh, hybrid system. Um, yeah. You know, you tend to see hybrid systems in high stake uh, sectors, finance, government, military, you know, where, you know, you have to have systems up no matter what um, is going on. Around you. What have been the, the key learnings for you guys in, in our partnership? How have, how have our collaborations shown you new and exciting things? I think the, the, the collaboration we've had with you was quite unique, uh, uh, Andy, uh, uh, at least for, the, for my team. I mean, we, we might have had uh, similar experiences elsewhere, uh, but uh, right. for, for, for our region here, and I know you're global uh, and, and this is relevant, but it's, it's the, um, the fact that we were helping you with your core business applications the application i mean the, the 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 actual applications and and uh that you uh you made available to your customers we were not doing back office work or purely migration right. work, etc there was a direct impact or a direct direct visibility to whatever we were working on to your end users your end uh fecs right uh which to me was a, a very unique and a great responsibility for us to ensure that that new model that is hybrid, as you said, is um, cr improves, constantly generates uh, a better customer experience. And of course, it you know our intention was to ensure that 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 your customers are able to generate revenue, engage in their, in their business activities, engage in their business activities with no di uh, disruptions, no disruptions yep. to their operations. Yep. And complete resiliency and security as well. Uh, all of these uh, elements of a properly architected uh, business solution were needed to be there. But on top of that, we were very cognizant that th what we were doing was something very unique because it affected a very broad segment of cus of your customer base. Mm. Uh, and we wanted to make sure that we are creating something that had not just techni techno from a technological point of view, it was sound, but it also was something that that it had an element of enhancing the customer experience. Yes. Uh, that's for us was one of the greatest, you know, the, the most uh, interesting and fascinating and exciting part of uh, of collaborating with you and your great team. By the way, um, uh, yeah, th that's what I would say for me was the and not to mention the, the your team uh, yourself and your team who were incredibly well. Um, I would say. Um, uh, versed in into the activities that we were doing extremely extremely um sort of not only collaborative but knowledgeable enough to be able to to take that solution and then enhance it as you go forward in your in your um uh, providing services to your customers which is which is fantastic thank you thank you uh it's easy for us to say that you know we went on this path of digital transformation where you know by and large, when I come across people, you know, in my sphere of network who talk about digital transformation, generally speaking, uh, they're talking about, you know, making the big, bold move to the cloud, right? And uh, I think that's a very, very, you know, very, very sensible and lots of people are doing it. However, the needs of our business and what we had to achieve were subtly different. So, you know, I'm really glad that we partnered with Amazon because not only were they open to this new way of working with regards to, you know, a software outcome, but also the, the level of experience and the, the level of problem solving. You know, they weren't looking at this and saying, okay, we're web guys, this is way too hard, I'm out. Um, there were some really, really interesting dialogues, some really, really fantastic architecture that was developed. So for us, 
the upskilling of my team, uh, mentored by some of the best at Amazon, was was peerless. It was an absolutely incredible experience for us all. So, yeah, no, big kudos to you and your team. Uh, thank you. I mean, it, it was a great, great experience. And I think, uh, you know, one of the benefits I think that you're going to get as well, which will become also uh, uh, enhancements that you can introduce in in in, in your product mm -hmm. or set of products, suite of products, is the fact that we are in continuously adding new capabilities. We are continuously making available to you um, as embed uh, mm -hmm. new services. I mentioned Q. There are additional uh, yep. artificial intelligence uh, uh, foundational models that as, if, if you follow uh, the technical press, you'll see that we're adding continuously additional models that are not built by us, but running on our on our platform as well yep. that you can leverage and that our professional services team can help, uh, help you with to, to create an even better customer experience because this is not a one-time thing the way we see it we see it as a mm. journey that is in itself um, uh, holds value to continuously introduce new and great things to uh, to the experience of uh, your customers 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 right customers 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 yep and you know what I, i'll add to that as well i think as new technologies come along, it's very, very difficult for even a moderately sized organization such as ours to actually invest strong time into R&D and to growing uh, knowledge base, right? Yeah. What tends to happen, again, speaking from experience, uh, working in you know, various different sectors uh, throughout my life, yeah. was that a new technology would come out, people who were interested in the technology, but not necessarily with any experience with uh, adjacent technologies leap on board, they implement it. They don't generally implement it particularly successful in the project fails. It's kind of sidle, right? It's some sort of vestigial lump of code they tried, you know, many, many moons ago. Yeah. The one thing that I um, really enjoy, again, is, again, working in partnership with you and your senior team was that we ensured stability out of the box, right? We weren't going up some sort of uh, completely untested and untried path. Uh, yeah. You know, it was generally uh, managed by very, very senior people who were ensuring that every step of the way was as good as it can be to ensure that the outcome was just going to be rock solid. And um, you'll be pleased to know that we, we've we actually launched the uh, sales module now into several locations into the US, and it is absolutely singing. So yeah, no, congratulations to you and your team. This is absolutely something magical. So thank you. It's fantastic. I mean, th this is exactly why we do this. Uh... Um, Andy, I think it's, it's, it's as I said, we, we do have a culture that we tend to sort of uh, refer to and always invoke when we're doing our work. And that culture is, is based on leadership principles, the first and the right. most important, which is customer obsession. And by that, I mean obsessing over creating value for you. So when, when, you, when you say something like this is phenomenal, and we're, we're really looking forward to embed the sort of increasing its its footprint across uh, across various regions and and us supporting you in any way in shape any way we can frankly so thank you very much for your partnership it's, it's phenomenal it's great news and I'm looking forward to the next product going out yeah absolutely hey watch this space we've got some exciting news and uh, I'm glad that we'll be working with you again so brilliant thanks very much Ellie thank you Andy cheers bye bye